Hey yo, Spooty here. Um, I'm just here to give you a quick rundown of couples mode as far as Setmania 3.95 or ITG, Open ITG is concerned. Um, as you all probably know, I've been running a couples event at UIUC, uh, University of Illinois in Champaign Urbana, um, for the last couple years now, um, every semester. And um, the way it works is basically it's a couples chart is a chart that two people play cooperatively. Um, it can involve pad changing and pad switching and such. Um, and so it takes a lot of, you know, cooperative effort, uh, a lot of coordination, but it's really fun. Um, now, I've gotten a lot of questions, though, about, you know, how did you get this to work? Because, you know, ITG doesn't have official couples or co-op um, team support. Um, and so I figured I'd just make this and hand out some tools to help people with making or playing their own um, couples charts. Um, so basically, as far as gameplay works, the way it works is, um, you know, one player follows red notes and one player follows blue notes. Um, this is done with a separate note skin that you will have to add to your Statmania setup or to your machine whichever you happen to be using. Um, you can see it right here. One player is using red notes, one player is using blue notes. Um, more on that in a bit, but, um, and yeah, I'll just show, just give a quick demonstration, you know, just to, of basically how it works. You know, same scrolling up thing. Um, there's also cues that I've added in to help convince, you know, show players how to traverse around the pads. So in this case, like, right here, I want the blue player to get off the left side and on at the back of the pad between the bars. So I have these arrows moving on and off the screen to try and convey that. Um, I'll go over how to implement those soon enough as well. So basically, um, how it works um, in 3.95, because as I mentioned before, it doesn't, um, 3.95, ITG, Open ITG, don't have official couple support, so you kinda have to cheat the system a bit. Um, this is done using the glitch, um, concerning negative values for, uh, BPMs or stops, in this case, stops. Um, by putting, by using a note skin where everything is red, is like a red metal note, like right here, except for 64ths and 192nds, which normally would be colored teal, um, use blue cell notes instead of red metal. Um, so basically, the blue notes are all offset by one 192nd note. Um, obviously, if you just do that, the blue player is going to have to step late every time, and it's going to be a huge headache to FA correctly. So we use negative a negative stop to warp the blue player's notes up by one 192nd note. As you can see, I'm scrolling by one 192nd note from on the beat to the one 192nd note increment off. The current second is staying at 9.112. Then, since we warp forward, we have to add a positive stop to reverse the effects so that it, the chart doesn't drift forward. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you're looking to play couples of charts, it's pretty simple enough. All you need is the chart itself and the couples note skin. I'll just go over how to add everything really quick. You want to start by pulling up your step mania, um, go into note skins, go into dance, and just unzip your couples note skin right here. That's all you need to do there. But um, note skin is not going to be selectable just by adding it to the folder. You also need to go to your themes. Just pick whichever theme you're currently using. In this case, I'm using Simply Love. Um, you want to open... Sorry, phone. Um, I don't have to worry about that. But it will be making us. Um, go into your metrics. I'll show you right here. I have them up already. You'll want to look for the category screen options master and then scroll down until you find the note skins two lines um, and then just add a line that's in the same format as the other lines here for couples so right here mod 
comma, couples, semicolon, name, comma, couples. Um, you'll also have to, this line right here, note skins 2 equals and there'll be a number. That tells Stepmania how many um, mods should display in the line, so you'll have to increment that by 1. So like before I added this, it was at 6, so I had to add 1 and make it 7. There you go. Um, and then English, you want to, you want to, from there, from the themes folder, you'll go into languages and open up your english.ini and just find where your other note skin names are defined and just add a line couples equals couples. That, um, if you did everything right, then the couples note sh skin should be in your note skins menu just like that. That's all there is to it. Um, then, uh, once you've got that, just pick the note skin, um, play it as a normal doubles chart, and everything should be fine. Um, once you get into writing couples charts, the things get a little more complicated. Um, obviously, it would be near impossible, like, hugely tedious to write this chart manually by hand, because you have to add that set of stops for every, um, blue player note. And um, the Stepmania editor won't let you just type in a negative value, so you have to go into the SM file and manually type in those stops. It's a huge pain in the butt if you want to do it manually, which is why we don't. Um, thanks to our friend Rich, which the script is named, um, is, uh, has his name on it, um, also known as Captain Black on the forums, uh, we have a script that can fully convert a chart from a Stepmania 5 routine mode um, I believe SSC works as well, um, into this, you know, the version that's compatible with 3.95 using this note skin. Um, so, basically, you're going to want to pull up Stepmania 5, um, you, you know, download it if you don't have it. Um, when you go into the editor, you'll see coupled, uh, type couple, you don't want that. Cu um, the couple type in Stepmania 5 is more of a dual singles, um, there isn't, like, notes distinguished by player color or anything. You want routine. Um, so yeah, just go into the editor, write your chart as usual. Um, the editor works the same as any other step in the editor. The only other thing you need to know is that the slash button, or the slash and question mark button next to your shift key, um, is what you use to switch um, which player you have selected. So there, you can see red note, I hit slash, blue note. So, yeah, just write your chart normally in here, um, and then once you're done with that, then you're going to go pull up your Stuntmania 5 folder, navigate to the song, uh, pull out the SMs, the .sm file, and then go to the conversion script folder. Now, there's going to be two download links available for the conversion script. One is in .exe format which is for Windows users um, who do not have Python libraries installed. Uh, anyone who's running Windows should, in theory, be able to use this. Um, the, it's a, the file's a little bigger, but still nothing that should be any problem. It's like 10 megabytes because of all the libraries it has to import for a standalone EXE. But um, if you have Python libraries installed, or if you're like running on a Mac, then you can't use the EXEs. Um, and you'll have to install Python libraries. There's also a Python uh, version, a download version available that's in the um, original python.py script format. If you're using that, you'll just run uh, rich.py instead of rich.exe. But anyway, uh, take you take the SM file you want converted into the stop format and put it in here, and then just run the, run the script. You'll get a dialog box just to open up the file you want to convert and then choose a file name to dump it out to. It defaults to output.sm. That works fine. And as you can see, steps.sm, this is the one we put in. This is the routine format that Stepmania 5 uses. It's essentially two doubles charts. And then if we open up output.sm, you can see here's all the stops um, for the blue player, and it's combined into one huge doubles chart. Um, so then just put your output into your song folder in, um, in your 3.95, um, 
open IGG folder, whatever, um, whatever you're using. Um, the only other th um, that pretty much covers it. The only other thing I have to cover really quick is the whole pad queue thing, which you know I'll show you again, like the, like the thing right here, where there's the uh, the extra arrow that shows the player to get off the right side and get back on the back, that sort of thing. Um, using that's pretty simple though, so I'll cover it really quick. Um, you'll want to grab the pad switched queue archive, then I'll, um, I'll have linked in the description. Um, it'll have a folder named Lua, just dump that right into the song, um, song folder, and make sure that you add, hold on, let me, oh wait, it's above the chart, right here, um, add this FG changes line to it, um, 0, 0.00 equals Lua, etc. Um, that'll activate the changes. Um, there should be four folders, four files in the Lua folder. Um, the images for just for the visual effects and default.xml. You want to open up default.xml. Um, scroll down here to the index activity table. This is a list of all of the um, all the arrow cues that will show up on screen. The first argument is the beat number that it will appear at. And the second is a short string that represents what type of cue it is. Um, it's labeled in the order um, side, like side of the screen it shows up on, color, and direction it's moving and pointing. So in this case, it's it's a right blue pointing right arrow. In this case, it's a down bottom side blue up pointing arrow that comes on the screen. Uh, right side, red, right pointing, etc., etc. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy to use. Just um, yeah, follow this format, um, and you shouldn't have any problems. If you want to change the display effects, like um, how fast the arrow the arrow cues move or um, zoom out, zoom in, whatever, you can tweak this. But um, just a fair warning, only do this if you really know what you're doing, because it's pretty easy to break things if you are not well-versed in this sort of thing. Um, but as long as you stick to the format of the commands that are already there, you should be fine. Um, that, I believe, covers everything. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment or message me on here, um, R21 Freak AIJ, where, um, wherever. Um, but that should be everything. Downloads uh, for everything will be in the description. So I'm not going to cover tips for writing charts like pattern, like suggested patternings for now. Um, but I will be working on a couple of, like a couple's mini pack, probably 10 songs or so. Um, in case you need ideas, um, it, it'll be a good thing to look forward to. Um, other than that, happy stepping, um, and I will see you later.